All right, first off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Vadash, the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for letting me do another video through the Spirit, the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for giving us this truth of worms. Double honor to our apostle elders that great millstone, salutation, and blessing to the old for life. And, uh, so, like, I, I didn't know I didn't know it started recording. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be a quick video on something I'm thinking about right now through the Spirit. Uh, just these heathens. They're supposed to be on top right now. The, these uh, these other nations, they're supposed to be in nicer cars than us. They're supposed to have businesses. They're supposed to have riches. They're supposed to be on top right now because the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Al Shai, is allowing them to be at the top right now because we sin against our power. So it, he, he, set, he switched the dynamic of, of power. He let the heathens be on top. And he put us on the bottom. And actually, before I get that, before I get even that, the, the curses, let me get this. Because it's just something that came to mind, something that, you know, it frustrates you and it pisses you off a little bit. Then in this truth, but when you understand it, it's, it kind of, it, it eases you. And having wisdom and knowledge understanding it eases us through this life, man. It gives us understanding of why certain situations happen, why certain things happen. In our day-to-day -day lives because of ourselves of course being in this flesh and because of the iniquities that we have committed before the eyes of the heavenly father Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai so we go through trials and tribulations being in this truth and even as our people just in general we go through different things because ultimately we have sinned against our power and it's not to completely destroy especially if you're in this truth it's to, it's to build us and mold us as men of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai but I want to start with this, because this is the 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 Ezers. Ezers, our forefather Ezers, which uh, this is a book of Ezers in the Apocrypha, which is the same Ezra in the in the Bible. Uh, this is just him complaining unto the Lord, and the angel is 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 there dealing with him, and he expounds unto him why this predicament is, and and what is basically going to be the end of it. So I'm going to get this. It's 2nd Ezra 6 and 13. 2nd Ezra 6 and 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Which is true. The world was made for the children of Israel's sake. It was made for them to rule over and have dominion. And, and to possess it, possess it in, in righteousness But clearly Reading the stories and reading the prophecies And, and what unfolded You understand what, what happened That we fell The sons of God eventually went off And, and, we, and we lost it We lost it and, and that was meant to happen It was all meant to happen Because of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai And uh, ultimately us not having that that perfect heart at the time so it was meant to happen because of the prophecies that were that were spoken about because even back then during the time of adam the prophecy of yahweh shai be, uh was there because enoch it said even enoch prophesied so the that prophecy of yahweh shai coming has always been in in the works it's always been something that was gonna gonna happen even uh our forefather moses spoke about it speaking about there is one that's going to come that shall that shall rule over you which is of thy brother which is who yahweh shai that was that yahweh shai has always been been spoken about he's always been uh spoken about in a uh, prophecy so it was all meant it, it was all meant to go down as it went down so but I'm going to get this. Is, I'm, gonna, so I'm getting a little distracted. Getting off track. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 50. I'll start at 55 again. All these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. As as for the other people, which also come of, come of Adam, which are the heathens of other nations. Thou hast said thou, thou, that they are nothing but... But be like unto spittle, and has likened likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth 
from from uh, a vessel and words that written that's written in the book of Isaiah because that's how the Lord truly feels about these heathens. These heathens are nothing to the Lord. Straight up. You heathens, you Moabites, you Chinese, you so-called white people especially, you are nothing to the Heavenly Father. And that's that's true. You are nothing to him. You you mean nothing to him other than to serve his purpose and to serve the children of Israel in later prophecies. You you mean you are all extras in this movie, man. Straight up. Not to burst your fucking bubble. Y'all don't matter. The children of Israel are the are the main people of the Lord. That, that's who the people who the Lord looks upon. That's why the, is, the eyes of the Lord are upon Israel. Because he looks and cares for Israel. Verse uh, 57. And now, O Lord, behold these heathens which, which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us but we but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn thy that of thy only begotten thy fervent lover are given unto their hands if the world now be be for our sake why why do we not possess an inheritance with with the world how long shall shall this endure and that's that's a question that the, the Ezra's was asking the Lord, man, because he was wondering why these things were happening to it um, unto him. So I'm gonna jump from that. I'm gonna go to this. This is a uh, because these heathens are supposed to be over over us for this time and for this purpose. These heathens are supposed to be over us. It's the prophecies. It was told unto us if we would go off and to leave off from the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father Yahweh Shemuel Shai that this will happen. So you heathens, you heathens, hey, you better live it up, motherfuckers. Because when the children of Israel come back and the power is over for you, your fun time is done. Your fun time is done. This is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 44. I shall read 13 and then I'll read 44. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. So that's with the blessings. And thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be, be beneath if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shadda power, which I commanded thee this day to observe and to do them. That was a part of the promises, the part of the, the blessings and the curses as is written. But what we we received mainly of the curses, we only received some somewhat of the blessing during the time of Solomon. And, and we fell because of what we didn't keep our side of the bargain. So we fell from that. All the way up to the time of even Tiao Shai, we were the tail. We were not the hell in this, and we were not the head, and especially till now in this point in America. We will not be the head once again into the time of Yahweh Shai and his return. That's when we'll be made the head. But right now, we are supposed to be at the bottom. We're supposed to be sad. We're supposed to be depressed. You're supposed to be upset. You're supposed to be these things. It's, it happens. Brothers, we get depressed. You're supposed to get depressed. This is fucking hell, man. It's Babylon. You're supposed to cry to the Lord. Actually, let me get this before I uh, get that. Now, there is a balance. <laughs> there is a balance to that. But uh, you are supposed to cry, man. This place is supposed to beat your ass down, man. And 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 you're supposed to have hope in the Lord. How about Shimei Al Shai? And remember the scriptures. And remember what we're told, and that gives us comfort. This is uh, Psalms fifty-six and verse eight. Uh, thou tellest my, tellest my wanderings. Put it, put thou my tears in the bottles. Are they not in thy book? So the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai hears us, man. Our tears are counted, man. Our our cry is not in vain at all. We are supposed to be upset, man. We're supposed to be sad about these heathens being over. But you're not supposed to be sad to the point where you forsake the Lord and you will do anything to be over them. No, you're supposed to accept it. Just like Micah, Micah said, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. You accept it. You recognize what is happening. You understand it. You're like, okay, this is a punishment. It sucks. It's not going to be fun. But I know what's happening. I understand it. That's and that and this is the will of the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and it is only going to be for a time, and soon we're going to be out of it. That's the comfort, that's the hope, man. But our people don't understand it, nor do they have that hope. Like the scriptures say, they shall suffer the straight things and have no hope for the wide. But we have hope of the wide. 
this we have hope, man. These heathens are supposed to be above us for a time, man. They're supposed to be in Bugattis. They're supposed to be in 2024 fucking Corvettes. They're supposed to be have businesses. They're supposed to give you problems at the gas station. They're supposed to be 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 pissing you off because they're in power. They're supposed to. Now it's for you to keep your fucking shit together and not snap on these people. <laughs> KB does you fucking and sometimes it happens, but we have to compose ourselves knowing that this is this is what it's meant to be. Just like how Shai composed himself through his life. And to certain points, it happened where he lost no people. He snapped. <laughs> and you know you have that moment, but you come back to reality. <laughs> and, 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 and you're good. Yeah, all right. So that's a lot. Look, I fucking lost my temper for a second. But this is Deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, 44. He shall lead thee and thou... Thou shalt not lead uh, it's like, and he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And that's how these other nations are, man. These heathen nations are the head at the moment. But that's okay. That's okay. You heathens got it, bro. Y'all y'all winning right now. Y'all got it. Just like the scriptures say, Lamentations 4. Rejoice, man. Have fun. Live it up. But Because when the time comes, baby... When the time comes, you are going to feel pain unlike never seen before. So it's all right. It's all right, man. It's all good, baby. It's all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> but we will be victorious, man. We will be victorious through Yahweh Shai. We will be, we will get the victor. He got the victor. He, man, that, do you have to believe that crowning ceremony that's written in Daniel's happened, man? You have to believe that how shot. You have to believe this book, just like Paul. Like Paul said, I believe. Therefore, have I spoken? You have to. You have to believe these things, man. You have to envision it. Like the Apostle uh, Gabar always goes into it, envisioning it. Envision. Got to envision the glory, man. It gives you hope. It gives you hope, man. You see it, man. It gives you just like a fucking bodybuilder, man. They're not the the, if the or bodybuilder that's working to be a champion. They see it in their fucking head, man. They see it they're like, man, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna get to this fucking size, man. And I'm gonna be fucking champion. You gotta fucking see it, man. You gotta see the glory of Yahweh Bashmi Al You gotta see the victory, man. The crowning, the the glory, the even the the fucking women, the the victory, man. You gotta fucking see it, man. And be and be happy, man. Be fucking happy about it. Like, yeah, man, that's coming. That's coming. That's coming. We just gotta keep fucking fighting. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep on keep the grind going. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright, but I'm gonna get this and close it off. This is Psalms 50, uh Psalm 73 in verse let's get 20. As a dream, when one wakes, so so Lord, when thou awakest. Thou shalt uh, dis despise their image, because the Lord ultimately hates these heathens. Thou must thy thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. Meaning he he was he was cut, he was cut. Because when you read up in the chapter, he was mad at the heathens that they were in power, or that they that they were over him. But he he coming to the realization. So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holding me by by my right hand. Thou shalt. Yep. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterwards receive me to glory. Whom I have in heaven, but thee. There is none upon earth that is that that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart faileth. But my power is the strength of my heart and and my portion forever. Man, you got it, man. We're the Lord's portion, man. You got to put that fucking perspective, man. <laughs> you, we're the Lord's portion. The Lord said out of his own mouth, the lot of my inheritance is fucking Israel, man. That's us. You think he going to let us stay in this fucking condition forever, man? The lot of his fucking inheritance? Dude, that's 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 mighty as hell. We're we're the Lord's portion, man. 
He said, I chose y'all. Fuck y'all doing down there. Man. That shit hypes me up, man. We're the Lord's portion. Not the heathens, not the not the earth. Not even the earth. The, of course, the Lord possessed the earth and possessed everything, but the Lord told us, man, out of everything in the galaxies, everything, the moon, the stars, the sun, whatever, the Lord chose Israel to be his portion, man. To be his chosen fucking vessel, his people. That's fucking mighty. Let me keep going. For, for lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. So you niggas and you heathens gonna perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh. I have put my trust in the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, that I may declare all thy works. And, and we gotta we gotta do that, man. We gotta declare his name throughout the four corners of the earth and even unto death. When these devils come with the troops, the, the FEMA camps, the torture, whatever, man. Cause it's coming, those things are coming. The jails. We have to we have to still maintain the faith in the Heavenly Father, how about Shimei Al Shai is our forefathers, and the Lord is gonna give us the spirit to do it. As long as we be those men, the Lord is gonna put the spirit on us to get through those things. Cause if he doesn't, because if he doesn't, man, we're fucked. We're fucked straight up. Because the the ways we've been growing up, the ways we we've been taught in this world. The ways we've been been brought up, we would be we have, we would be fucked. We'd be fucked if the Lord don't put the spirit on us to not take the chip. If the Lord don't put the spirit on us to 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 maintain being in tortured. If the Lord don't put the spirit on us to maintain just sitting in a jail, we're fucked. So the Lord, how about Shimei Al Shai? We're gonna have to trust Him. We're gonna have to trust in His Spirit to get us through these situations, man. Just like our forefathers before before us and, and our and our apostles and elders that, that that are set up, man. Because they've been in that test once before in two thousand or or what's that, two thousand one where they where they were basically considered terrorists for a moment. And what they endured and went through it and, and, and look how the Lord has, has grown them up to now. So Lord will I hope this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, by Shimmer Kakurash, double honor to our apostles and others at Great Millstone, Millstone and salutation and blessings to the whole That's the one.